What's up everybody? It's your girl Matt Givens back with another video. So today it is Sunday morning y'all. I got my robe on. I'm chilling. I'm vibing. Alrighty y'all. I'm gonna just jump right into this because I really do not even know what to say right now. So basically as you all can see by the title, this is a story time of what happened to me a couple of days ago. And honestly I wasn't really gonna talk about this because I didn't feel like it was that big of a situation. Like it did like involve me and I felt like this was something that you know I was just gonna keep to myself sort of thing. Like but I'm like no. Like after like I don't know I feel like the universe just told me to talk about this today and actually y'all this is crazy because this whole situation goes back to my spirituality beliefs and like how I'm coming into my spiritual self you know what I'm saying y'all if you haven't already make sure you guys check out my last couple of live videos as well as how I found out that I was an empath and things like that because that talks about my spirituality beliefs and how it basically ties into this story that I'm about to tell you guys so basically you guys know that everything is under quarantine right now right so a couple of days ago I I was like you know what let me take myself to the park you know what I'm saying I'm just chill like and I really wanted to be grounded with nature because I feel like the park that is like close to me like I don't really like it. it's kind of small so I went across town to my favorite park yo this is my favorite park I grew up at this park whatever so like I just absolutely love this park so I drove across town to this park and I'm just like yo the sun was feeling amazing it was a beautiful day outside I'm like I'm just gonna chill relax you know meditate all that sort of thing right so I get to the park <laughs> I get to the park I park get out you know sort of thing walk up the hill I'm there I'm laying out in the sun y'all so i'm so like in tune with nature right now y'all i done took my socks off i'm in the grass like i'm laying down like y'all because i really i had to meditate like y'all like especially if you you know if like you're a light worker and stuff like you have to be in nature like in nature like it is a necessity okay especially for me and like what i'm doing and stuff like that i just be needing clarity whatever so i had to go take my socks off i'm laying down whatever so i had my stuff kind of like up on the benches or whatever um my like wall and my phone and stuff like that because I don't like being by radiation like when I'm like in nature okay so I have to be away from my phone and stuff like that so I put everything away like so it doesn't even like be in my vicinity type thing so basically like first of all I ain't gonna lie like <laughs> I was doing something um so I had like my little smokes going you know I was just doing my own thing and then I seen the police pull up right and the police like was like stop because I was in the grass like I was looking kind of suspect and if you was looking at me from the ground it would look like it was like smoke coming from where I was like sitting so it was probably like whatever so you know I had to play that off whatever and then next thing you know like I heard people like yo my intuition does not lie like my intuition will tell me like what to do and when to do it like it's the craziest thing ever so like as soon as I whatever stop my smokes or whatever so basically I heard that some people walking so then after I stopped my smokes y'all literally now people are like in my vicinity because before I was like by myself so there's this guy walking up right he was walking up kind of like creepily like you know what I'm saying so I'm trying to like you know when I peep somebody being on some weird shit like I'll never be like uh, meh, uh, meh. like you know what I'm saying like like nah like let me vibe with you real quick and let me see what what you want what you want for real so I'm like you know what I'm saying I'm just slowly moving okay Okay, I see him, you know, I ain't trying to be all hasty and shit, like, I'm, you know, just kind of slowly get up, um, he looked like he looking for a lighter, so I'm like, oh, you need a lighter, like, he like, yeah, like, so I, you know, let him borrow my lighter type thing, like, whatever, so I get up, you know, slowly walking, you know, put my shoes on, and then I go sit down, um, where my wallet and stuff is, so, I'm um, sitting down, you know, we kind of talking a little bit, um, he has the lighter or whatever, so I'm the type of person that I do not judge anybody, I have never judged anybody, I never will judge anybody, because you truly do not know, one, who somebody is, what they're going through, who, like, you just never know, like, just because somebody could look like they're bummy, they could literally own half the city, and you, like, prejudge them, and you didn't even know that, like, so I just never judge anybody, because you literally just never know who they know, you never know who they are, like, you never know what they, you know, like, you just never know y'all so um I was like okay like I'll spark up a conversation like I was already chilling like I'm vibing like I ain't about to leave like you ain't about to just ruin my day like I'm chilling like I've only been here for you know a certain period of time like nah like I need to stay in nature longer so um I'm like okay so I spark up a conversation with dude whatever like we was already talking like he was trying to have a conversation no first he asked me like my name or whatever it was on some weird shit and then he asked like if my parents gave me that name I'm like I'm guessing like what's your name like and so um it was just weird the whole situation was low-key weird like so like 
basically he said his name was Robert or whatever. I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, so this was an older Caucasian male. Um, I don't know. I don't want to be racist, but I'm just let y'all know. So you guys kind of have the picture in your head. He probably was in his late 40s, early 50s. Um, it was interesting. He was very put together he wasn't put together but he was like I noticed certain things about people like he was a man that had matching socks and the way that he carried himself was very I don't want to say like meticulous but it's it was a little bit uh meticulous like you know what I'm saying it, it was like he was thinking a lot before he would really speak although he didn't try to perceive himself that way I know that's kind of what was going on because I think a lot so I can you know what I'm saying in the word choice whatever so so we just sitting there having this conversation or whatever right and um he just starts getting a little bit weird like at first in my head i'm thinking like okay like you know i don't judge people so maybe like shit, he might present me with some business opportunity or something like that so i tell him i'm like yeah like it's very interesting that we met today because i don't feel as though anything happens for a reason like um and then he asked me if i smoke sort of thing and i was like you know and then we talked about that and um we was just talking about a lot of different things right and then he asked me about music. If I like music, I was like, yeah, I like all different types of music. Like, he was like, oh, do you like Taylor Swift? I was like, oh, she's so, you know, she's all right. Like, so he was asking about, you know, if I like Taylor Swift. And then he was asking, like, how far I lived, if I lived around there. I'm like, no. I'm like, do you live around here? He's like, yeah, I live down the street. Like, I'm like, okay. Like, um, you know, sort of thing. And then he was like, you want to go listen to music? I'm like, where? <laughs> He's talking about, you want to go to my apartment and listen to some music? I'm like, the no um i'm like we can listen to some music right here like so then i started peeping so i'm like okay yeah now he on some weird shit like now in my head i'm already convinced that he on some weird shit so i'm like all right so i'm like do you want to listen to some queen a little bit of elton john billy joel so at this point he's kind of like mind fuck because he's like how does this little girl know that he's like she queen you know what i'm saying so like so i'm like um yeah i'm older than i look like so he was like oh like um i pay you to be like 23 or something like that and i'm like yeah like y'all you know i'm 21 so i'm like yeah like da, 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 right so i'm like okay so then he leaves right so he leaves <laughs> leaves come back he leaves his phone out and everything so i'm like yo like i'm the type of person i think times 10 so i'm like damn why is his phone out maybe he got his little voice recorder on maybe he's trying to record me then i'm mad like i'm just trying to like figure out this whole situation and what's going on like so i'm like bro what is going on right now so then like he comes back right he leaves and comes back his phone is still there right he leaves comes back he was like, oh, like, you want to put your number in my phone type of thing. So I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I am not giving this man my number. So I take the phone, whatever. First of all, I'm already mad that I took the phone because I'm so such an overthinker, y'all. I'm thinking that this motherfucker going to go back with my uh, fingerprints and all that. Like, so I'm like, you know what? I don't even like touching people's stuff. Like, that's how I think. Like, people like that that be on some creep stuff, bruh, I don't put nothing past nobody. I don't know what you got. You the type could be having a lab in your house, the whole picture wall filled with pictures of me. You know, I, you just never know. Like, you never know. And then he asked to watch, like, YouTube videos and stuff. So, like, even with this YouTube stuff, like, you just never know. I don't know if people watching me. You never know who's watching, you know, you know, and stuff like that. It can be, like, scary for real. So, it's like, hmm. Um, you know, so I didn't put my number in his phone. So, I was just kind of, like, talking to him with his phone in my hand and then acting like I forgot. So, then I gave him his phone back or whatever because that's what it was we were talking about music apps so i told him to download soundcloud i help i helped him download soundcloud or whatever so then we was talking about music apps and then um so i gave him his phone back and he was like did you put your number in my phone i was like ah oh, i forgot i said but i'll take your number and um he was like uh so he looking through his phone for like a second he's like uh i don't know my number i'm like okay and then he was like here you can figure it out like so he gave me his phone i'm looking like what the fuck so i take a picture like i take a picture of his um icloud information and stuff like that i i was just like the whole situation was just weird like i'm like okay so i took a picture of his information and whatnot and then i give him his phone back so so this is what it was this is what it was y'all this is what it was so 
when he gave me his phone to look for his phone number or whatever because he didn't know his phone number i was scrolling this man had a lot of apps y'all so like I, it's not that i was going through his shit but i just be looking like i'm just a visual person so i see things so i scroll 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 and i'm like mm, he has an app for the illuminati so i'm like what the fuck is going on here so i'm like okay so i asked him about what's going on because you guys know i have been talking i don't i don't consider it the illuminati i consider it the deep state anytime you guys hear me talk about the deep state it's kind of in reference to the illuminati the elites and things like that which is what i have been talking about on all of my videos this past week with this coronavirus stuff so i'm like yo like this shit is crazy so like as soon as i seen that i asked him about it so i'm like so do you think this has to do with the deep state i'm said i said i'm sorry that you know i'm scrolling you know whatever i couldn't help but look that you had an app for the illuminati so i said do you think that this has anything pertaining to do with the deep state and he was like um uh like um he was like i think it's about control and then next thing you know he get his shit and he go like this man walk y'all this man get his shit and he leave like hastily like quick as fuck so i'm like what the fuck so so he leaving right so as he's leaving i tell him to be good and be safe which is interesting because i felt like that was kind of like source telling me that because it was like yo at this point i already knew that this man was on some kidnapping ass shit y'all i have been preaching to y'all about this sex trafficking shit sex trafficking and, and and that being the reason why shit is like the bigger picture behind shit like the the you know what i'm saying like it's a lot of deep shit that's going on right now but that is what it's about like that stuff and the, the i don't want to talk about everything because y'all go really Ugh, you know what i'm saying i might have to make another video but i don't like be trying to put all that information out there just because everybody is not ready for that everybody is not mentally prepared for it and the people that you know are following me and subscribe to me and stuff like that i'm not trying to ruin anybody because i know it's a lot of kids that follow me and stuff too but it's like y'all like at this point my stuff is going to be for grown grown folk only grown folk only because i need to talk about some real shit and i need to inform people that need to be informed okay we're not waiting anymore we're not beating around the bush for shit this isn't uh you know whatever we the time is gone okay we are in entering a whole whole new realm basically a whole new world of everything that's about to change and stuff like that so it's always great things it's positivity um positivity great outcomes you know to be coming up in our near future but at the same time there's a lot of stuff that still has to be dealt with before all of that can happen and as that's happening and stuff like that so a lot of stuff is going to come to the light i don't want to be the one to do that and to ruin everybody's day about the people that you like somewhat look up to is being these like evil nasty disgusting people but you know that's just the world that we live in people aren't who they seem to be you cannot judge a book by its cover just because people look to be a certain way all these celebrities they are not who you think they are i'm not saying all of them but some of them i would you know i wouldn't pass put anything past anybody um the only person that you really need to look up to and love is yourself and god that's it the reason this story is so significant is just because of the simple fact that i have been telling you guys that i've been coming into myself more in regarding in regarding being a light worker and just coming into my purpose and my power of you know just being a world healer and a changer and i have just been telling y'all about how sex trafficking is a really big thing and there they don't talk about it because of how big it is but the fact that it's people with money that support it which is why it's not talked about how it is like even when you watch the news y'all i tell y'all i live like yo if you in ohio like it's one of the like biggest places for sex trafficking i have never seen that shit on the news ever 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 i ain't heard about no cases i ain't heard about nothing and we supposed to be one of the biggest places like it's just like some deeper shit that's like very disgusting to me honestly it's extremely disturbing this situation was disturbing and even that's the dude at the park like basically trying to kidnap me and stuff like it's just hurtful it's not even that it's hurtful like it's disgusting to be completely honest because it's like luckily i'm blessed to have the mindset that i do but if somebody didn't they could have easily got their ass snatched up you know what i'm saying he talking about um ice cream and shit like i come on over for ice cream like come on now it's disgusting it's disturbing to be completely honest because i just think about these kids yo like that's literally all my mind is on is these kids and the fact that i know if there is a child that is not you know what i'm saying raised properly or 
or even if they are raised properly, just getting caught up in the moment, yo. Like, they really get themselves caught up into some shit, going, leaving the park with some creep-ass dude like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? And especially, like, now with this quarantine, like, everybody got nothing but free time. So, now all these kids outside and shit like that. Like, this kid shit, yo, is, like, so disturb disturbing and disgusting. I really cannot get past it. It's hard for me to, like, really just sit and, like, you know chill with this shit but it's like i can't let this shit get out of my head yo like i really can't so i don't want to be the one to burst anybody's bubble but i do want you guys to get some more knowledge first this is not me telling you okay i'm just leading you to the well you have to go drink the water yourself but if you want to learn some more information about the things i'm talking about in regards to like the deep state what you want to research is the deep state the fall of the cabal the elite adrenochrome which is the drug basically that they're using in regards to like the kids and stuff like that so look up those things um adrenochrome the deep state the elites the fall of the cabal those are probably the main things that you really want to be researching right now in regards to everything and it's just really fucking crazy to be completely honest y'all so i don't know um my mind has just been everywhere lately to be honest i was supposed to be filming some reaction videos you guys know and i filmed another three reaction videos yesterday and then the first video i literally sat there i didn't even want to edit it and upload it but i still did as soon as it uploaded y'all after like an hour and some change it said blocked worldwide and i'm just like yo like the universe really does not want me making these reaction videos right now now, I think I'm really just meant to be here and help instill knowledge and ha to help everybody, you know. So let me know what you guys want to know some more information about. If you guys want to have some more discussions, should I go live more often? I just really want to open up and talk to you guys a little bit more and get a little bit deeper with you all. So let me know what's going on with you guys. I hope everybody is doing well. But yeah, I know this story time is kind of interesting. It's just weird to me. It's a little bit disturbing, but... I promise you, like, it kind of just reminds me of my purpose just because the f simple fact that I told this grown-ass man to be good and be safe because I, like, it's like I knew, like, my, it's, like, it's like I know who I am. Like, you know what I'm saying? To be a healer, like, so to tell a grown-ass man to be good when you know that he is doing wrong in the world and he knows that you know that he is not who he is meant to be, like, that shit is just crazy, yo. Like, it was like, I don't know. It was because when I told him everything happens for a reason I don't know why I would have been in the park and talking to him and stuff like that but for me to tell him that I think that it was kind of like um a sign from the universe kind of instilling that in me to tell him the other reason I asked him about like Elton John and Queen and stuff like that is because I low-key wanted to trigger that emotion in him that had to go back to his childhood so I knew if it was something that would trigger like an emotional thing because some people like that like they've already built themselves around their heart being made of damn near steel so I was trying to like maybe trigger an emotion in him that he hadn't had triggered in a very long time to kind of see how he would respond and so the response that I got was definitely interesting I would to say the least so I don't know I, I'm just really learning more about myself and like I said y'all like this whole Mother Teresa thing like and just being a world changer and a healer the other thing about Mother Teresa is that she was a Virgo too and then even like with this guy like that he had the same name as my like my grandfather like it's weird and I just told y'all like the Mother Teresa and how that pertains to my grandma so like the way things are like just coming around like full circle is just so interesting to me so I'm gonna just keep kind of documenting my journey right now hopefully this makes sense hopefully I don't sound too crazy and if i do fuck it and fuck you no i'm just playing i love y'all but yeah i don't know my mind's just kind of been everywhere so i don't know y'all i'm just kind of figuring out one day at a time but let me know what y'all are feeling let me know what y'all thoughts are let me know what y'all thinking about i hope everybody is having an absolutely 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 amazing day if you guys like this video can you please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and press the notification bell so you guys know my next video is out i appreciate you guys and i love you guys so so much all the love and support you guys have been giving me literally means the world to me and i cannot thank you guys enough i hope everybody 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 has an absolute Absolutely, absolutely absolutely amazing day keep being great keep being original keep being true to being you i love you i appreciate you and i cannot wait to see you tomorrow bye